Inside the Huddle with Matthew Stafford. Brought to you by your Southeast Michigan Ford dealers. Think Ford first. And the Henry Ford Medical Group. Team physicians for the Detroit Lions. Well, this indeed is a big one on Sunday night. The Lions getting set to take on the New Orleans Saints on Sunday night football. The whole country will be watching, and Matthew Stafford once again will be under the microscope. We are happy to have you with us. As you get set for this one, Matthew, what's going through your mind on the big stage once again Sunday night? Yes, yeah, you know, it's another opportunity for us to, uh, to get that much closer to where we want to be at the end of the season. And obviously we're going up against a team in New Orleans that's playing really good football right now on both sides. And uh, we got a big challenge in front of us, but we're excited about it and, uh, and ready to get down there. Much of the focus, as you know, from the past 10 days has been on the trouble on the defensive side. You're going to be without some guys, clearly. Give me your thoughts on how those guys are dealing with their challenges and, to a certain extent, whether or not that affects how you approach your week. Uh, it really doesn't affect me. You know, it doesn't affect our offense. We go out there every time we get the ball expecting to score. And, uh, you know, that's our approach week in and week out. Um, we strive for excellence in that way. And, and um, you know, as far as the defense goes, guys are going to step up. You know, when, when people's backs against the wall, they're, they're uh, you know, they're dangerous, and, and our defense is, uh, is the exact same way. Is it somewhat of a rallying cry when you are down a guy, whether it be a suspension or injury or whatever the situation might be, that there is something more for those who are left to take the field to prove? I think so. You know, I think uh, guys in the past uh, around here have done a great job stepping up. You look at Kevin Smith stepping in, uh, you know, a couple weeks ago having a big game when he's... You know, uh, you know, somebody else went down with an injury. There, there's, it happens all the time in the NFL, and, and we need that out of our guys this week. Give me your uh, take on the last few weeks. You've struggled a little bit throwing some picks, but you've persevered. Through, you know, you keep slinging the ball. That's all a quarterback can do. Uh, a lot of it may or may not have been related to the injury you were suffering on your finger. Where are you now? Where's your mindset now? And how do you just keep throwing that football? Uh, I'm feeling better. You know, my finger's getting better. Um, you know, I... Uh, had a couple, uh, had a couple games in there where I was struggling with it, but I had to uh, to get through it. Our teammates, you know, my teammates did a great job of, of picking me up uh, in the Carolina game. We, uh, you know, got back on track, scored some touchdowns, and, and got back and won that game. And, uh, you know, each week is a new challenge. Um, new Orleans is a is a great challenge for us. Their defense is extremely multiple. They're coming after the quarterback a bunch, but uh, you know, it gives us some opportunity to make big plays and. And that's what this offense is all about. Yeah, you know, I think everyone can agree that when you played the Bears on October 10th on Monday Night Football, you were ready. Every facet of that team was ready for that game. How do you duplicate the emotion, the energy, the preparedness? Because it's going to take something like that once again on the big stage to get this done Sunday. Uh, you know, I think uh, I think our guys have done a great job this week. You know, you come out and look at practice, and guys are flying around with extra energy, ready to go, understanding that it's a huge week for us and. Uh, you know, we may be down a couple players here and there, but, um, you know, we don't want to be counted out. And um, that's, that's our attitude going into this game. And, and we've got a challenge, but we've got to go out there and, and take it on head on. You know, you've been throwing a lot of different curveballs over the last few weeks. Uh, what's your take on the Packers now having seen them once? And now they're in a team that's 11-0. and 0. You've seen them firsthand. What's your take on them? Oh, they're a good football team. You know, uh, they're playing well on offense, and it's allowing their defense to be aggressive in spots and, and go after, uh, you know, big plays, and, and they're making them. Um, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes when a team's hot and playing really well. Uh, you know, you got to give them a lot of credit. Well, uh, Kevin Smith, quickly, because we only have a few more seconds here. I know he's nursing the injury. We're all hoping that he's going to be able to play on Sunday. But what do you have to say about him and what he's been able to accomplish in the short time that he's been back with the team? Well, he's done a great job. You know, he picked up the playbook extremely quick right after he got back. And he's done a great job of, of running the ball, catching the ball, picking up blitzes. He's doing it all just like he used to. He's, uh, he's playing well. Well, we, along with the rest of the country, certainly look forward to watching you guys on Sunday when you take on the Saints. That is Matthew Stafford, the quarterback of the Detroit Lions. Thanks, as always, for joining us this Thursday night. All right. I appreciate it.